More than 47 million people in 40 states have already voted in the presidential election, and many of their ballots came from Arizona. That's one of the battleground states, you know, that will decide the winner this time. So the people who print those ballots say they use extraordinary security methods to protect their integrity. And Chris Van Clee was invited to get a closer look. This is the sound of democracy being printed, sorted, stuffed, and shipped. From inside this secure facility with armed guards near the Phoenix airport, Runback Election Services is printing ballots for voters in nine states, including Arizona. How many ballots do you print? For the general election, we'll print about 35 million ballots. Jeff uh, Ellington no runs no the place. Uh, By the second, third week of September, we've got enough files in that we're printing, we're starting to fold and insert. Is this stretch of time your Super Bowl? That's a great way to describe it. It is the Super Bowl. Everything comes together. By the time voting ends on November 5th, they'll go through about 6,000 miles of paper, printing up to 1.5 million ballots a day, enough to fill 51 semis. So many ballots, they weigh about the same as two 747s. We don't overprint anything. So every step as we go through, we print exactly what the counties asked for. And every single ballot is tracked throughout the process. And it's also taking a picture of each envelope and checking the thickness so we can make sure we have all the pieces accounted for. What's to stop someone from copying one of your ballots? It's got to be on the right paper. The tolerances to cut a ballot are shockingly tight. I mean, there are three decimal places, and it's not eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper. The kind, thickness, and color of the paper can vary by the machine tabulating the ballot, which varies by county. So does the design and layout of the ballot itself. States all across the country have paper ballots. 95% of all voters, including all of the voters in all of the swing states, will vote on paper ballots. Those paper ballots are auditable. They are verifiable. Beyond ballots, Runbeck offers support services for elections in 21 other states and the District of Columbia. We recently started selling panic buttons to counties because of all the threats to poll workers. Um, counties had voiced, hey, we, we're trying to find a way to solve this problem. How many panic buttons have you sold? We're right around 1,000. To, the, to different counties. It's a lot of panic buttons. There's a lot of concern. It really is crunch time inside this facility right now. They're running 24 hours a day, seven days a week, printing, sorting, packing these ballots. They want to get them out the door, in the mail, and to you when you need them. One of those ballots found its way to Georgina Caruso in Buckeye, Arizona. Did you know the ballot is printed here in Arizona? Uh, I would hope so. We met her as she was about to drop her ballot off at a polling place. Didn't want to risk it getting lost in the mail. I mean, I did it for myself. You know, I chose what I thought was good for me. And while Election Day means the end of Runback's busiest stretch, it also marks the start of runoff season and the need to crank up those sounds of democracy to ready brand new ballots all over again. For CBS Mornings, I'm Chris Van Cleve in Phoenix.